you know, two weeks in a row with this on the workbench just wasn't enough. Let's let's make it three, a nice hat trick. And you may be asking, why is it on the workbench this time? And well, we encountered a slight problem at Ragnar Oktoberfest, and that would be right here. The Caliburn actually broke on this piece and simply will not catch anymore. And that, well, that, that's a, a bit of a problem. So, went ahead and got a replacement from Captain Slug. He sent me this replacement and I, I, I bought a, uh, what he calls pizza table piece. Because, well, I mean, it looks like a pizza table you used to get on a pizza when you ordered a, a to-go pizza. But, uh, and that goes right around here. And that will help support these other pieces and prevent the flex issue that was causing some of the catching to not happen. So that is definitely a plus. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop these in today. And that's that's going to be our little project. So let's just go ahead and get right on to it and start by popping this out. Oh, this screw is so long. Um, but yeah, I... I Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to run this at Ragnar Oktoberfest like I wanted to. Let's go ahead and just take this nut off. Um, I was really hoping to get to run it, but it simply was not working. Uh, am I tightening it or am I... There we go. Okay. I just had to push it. There we go. So... Since it broke, I didn't get to run it, which was a bummer. Not, you know, not gonna lie. Uh, however, Heath, who did the scar barrel that we love and that will be getting its own review soon enough, uh, was kind enough to let me run with his for one round. Now, funnily enough, that one round ended up being all of about a minute and a half, which is a bummer, but in that time, it just it just cemented my absolute love for this blaster, um, and that was with the 788 spring that lowers the FPS to between like I think it was 125 and 145. So definitely uh, lower end for that super stock kind of game, but it's still with with worker Gen twos and a muzzle break. It, it performed admirably. Like, as soon as I got it kind of dialed into like, where I was aiming, it was magnificent and made me so happy. Okay, I think we can... So we gotta remove this down here still. But yeah, I'll probably have... Do something with that footage? I got footage of it, but it was... It's so funny because it's just like, well, this is... This is all of how long? How, like a minute and a half of footage? I mean, I got like three or four tags in it, but it it wasn't a ton. So it's like, what do I do with this footage? I'm not I'm not entirely certain. Did I need to pull this off? Yes, I did. I think I did at least, because we have to pull this back piece off to get to that. And yes, yeah, so I think we're I think we're okay. Do we need to? So we'll pull this, we'll screw this out because this was like a tight fit. So we'll screw it out this way. There we go, and there goes that nut. And now this should... Oh, no, this has to come out more. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think we're... We're good, no? What, uh, what am I missing? Are you still... Okay, okay, there we go. All right, put this over here. This should now... I shouldn't have to take this off because that just connects this piece right here with this screw, right? Like we're not... Hello? Is this just such a tight fit? <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna take this off really quick so I can flip this over easier. Let's 
that just may just be such a tight fit it just doesn't want to come out let's you know what let's unscrew this just in case see if that actually does have an impact maybe i'm maybe i'm thinking about this the wrong way here no that did not affect anything so it is just for some reason I can't actually like this this part seems like it wants to come off this just does not want to go anywhere like what in the world is that do I have to like screw this through? Is it gonna be is it gonna be that kind of finicky? Like this, this is clearly loose enough to, to work with. This just does not. This this just does not. And I don't want to mess with this side because remember, I had to screw this thing on. This piece is is it's on there. It does not want to come off. Um Wow. Okay. We've hit a bit of an impasse here. Uh, and we need to get this off now because I unscrewed this back piece so we can't just like... Hmm. What's the best way to go about this? Do I try and like just hand unscrew this? I think that, oh, this is gonna suck. I don't, oh, yeah, this is gonna suck. I think that's our real only option. No, there's no good way to get a good grip on this screw or a uh, rod. Why? Why do you have to be this way, Caliburn? I just want to love you. Why your tolerance is so tight that I can't thread you or I can't just slide you on? And I suppose the whole idea is that everything is secure, and I appreciate that. That makes sense. But in this slight, in, the, in this moment right here, it uh, it's not the most appreciated. But it could be far worse. As long as we can actually get this uh, off and out and, and and fixed and everything, I'll you know, I'll be happy. Be excited because I want to run this at a game so much. It is uh, something I have been very excited for. Let's flip this over. And oh dear. I don't know that I can get that off by hand. Um. Well, this is mildly problematic. I don't think these, yeah, those aren't, ow, that hurt. Uh, which way do we need to go? Right tight, left loose. I just have to go little bit by little bit. And it's not even shifting half the time. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it hurts to use my hand now because of the pliers. Okay. This, well, this is not, uh, can I soften it with the, this is a bummer is what this is. Let's. at least loosen this a little bit maybe 
loosening this nut a little bit will help. I, I don't I don't know. I don't think so, but yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Um, I don't know what to do, to be quite honest. Like I can't I can't grip at all. Um Wow. I may have to take this whole thing apart. That really sucks. Um If I if I can't if I can't unscrew this this rod at all, like how am I supposed to get this open? How am I supposed to do anything with this if I can't get this rod out? Like, it just does not. <clears throat> like, it's not going anywhere. That is not good. Uh... I think. I think I'm in a bit of trouble here. Uh, it's a bit of. Uh... A sticky wicket, I guess. I guess as some people would say. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, it does not want to budge at all. Like, how are you so in there that you just refuse to move? I don't understand. Okay, wait, maybe, oh, okay, okay, ha, ah. ha, ah. okay, okay. Uh, we're going to take the K25 out. We're going to put, we're going to put the 788 spring in, but I mean, that's, that's for a moment from now. Okay, before we do anything else, let's put this screw back in because I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Get in there. Oh man, was I going to be bummed if I was unable to get this open. Okay, that's there. So this comes off. And then that's the broken one. So again, you can see right there. So yeah, there was definitely a lot of force being put or pressure being exerted because while it was on there, it was sitting like this split open. You could see the opening when I just hold it normally. You can see it, it, it closes up fairly well. Like there's just, you see the split, but it's not being held open. So that is interesting that that amount of, of, pressure is being exerted into it um yeah all right so let's go ahead and get the new pieces on there we go there's one and will you slide on or will you need to be okay fantastic and then we've got the spring going in there. We've got our piece going in here. This can go. And, okay. Now, this whole, all right, let's put, let's put one of these back on first. So we can kind of hold it in place. Put this, but we'll try and we'll try and put this on. Try, try. It doesn't want to. Does doesn't want to work. There we go. Thank you. And come on. Just get it decently tight. And we'll go in and retighten afterwards. All right. So now we know this is 
relatively secure so we can try and thread this guy back in which now is threading I really wish I hadn't messed with it in terms of the pliers because now it hurts to move because there's little jagged edges from me being a dum-dum and messing with things what's the is that the best way to do it yeah there we go that still really hurts but uh yeah ow hopefully i don't have like metal slivers or anything after this but I'm a dum dum. A little bit more. Okay, that looks about right. And we'll re tighten this here. So one thing I will say is I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the small amount of space here to actually tighten things like these. These nuts and whatnot, um, but it could be worse, I'm sure. All right. Oh, I'm tightening against like nothing really, because this isn't set. I don't think so. That really, I don't think did much. I think I just kind of pulled the rod back through. I'm not. I'm not even certain, but I think that's what I just did. So I'm, I'm smart. Not really, but you know, we'll pretend. Uh, do, 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 take, come on. See, I'm really curious. I got to put the O-ring back on as well. Uh, trying to find that spring that gets us right to that like 145 mark for 150 games um, is ideal. That's, that's what what I'm looking for. So I can switch between, you know, K26 for the higher end games and then um, like the 788 or whatever it ends up being for our lower end games. Okay. Almost there. Okay. And I think we can tighten this now. Although maybe I should be threading all of these before I do the tightening. Maybe that would be smart. I don't know. Being smart is... It's nice, but... It's not something I'm... Doing super great at right now. <laughs> oh, well, we all have our moments. I just have mine on camera. Okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and put this back on. And then once we've got this threaded through and everything, we can actually, we'll, we'll try like a test prime and see how things are sitting. Because if we're sitting good, then I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. Uh, this to go through a little bit more, I think. I need to be able to get the wrench around There we go, that should be good. So this took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, but that mistake, or uh, that whole little debacle with this back piece here, trying to figure out how to get it off and being concerned about breaking it and other things like that, it's, uh, you know, was a concern. All right, let's go ahead and thread this through here. We need this in. Okay, push this. Interesting. Last time we did this, that piece was not so tight. Huh. Go figure. Maybe I did it better this time. Can only hope. Uh, let's 
push this back out so we can put the nut on here and then pull it in so we're tight there and boom to hold this piece back here to keep the rod from spinning instead of the nut here especially right now it doesn't want to ow that hurts there we go okay are we good ow I think we're I think we're good hope for good because that hurts and I don't want to do that anymore all right so I got a little bit more focused the last minute or here so I'm thinking can we can we prime this can we test this um, let's grab a magazine and we'll grab a couple short darts here and we'll Give these a test go. Um, are we good? I think we're good. Like obviously we're gonna put the, the back piece on here and all the other stuff, but let's see. So we got this all in here. These should add support to prevent flexing, which means this piece right here should take less of a beating and hopefully not break. And hopefully we will, we will catch. All right, we caught. It didn't snap forward like it had been in the past. Uh, oh, that's right. There was a dart already in there from when it broke. Caught again. And, ow, I just, you didn't see that, but I just shot myself in the face on accident. I'm, I'm impressed with myself on that one. Uh, it bounced off of a drawer right next to me and hit me right in the face. So I'm talented. No one ever forget that. Uh, all right, let's let's finish putting everything back where it goes. Uh, oh, that reminds me, we still need to put this nut on the other side here, and we still need to let's go ahead and pull that out uh, and can deprime that way. Once we get the pad back on and all that, we will wait. Where did I? Where does this go? Um, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I am, oh, okay, it's for this. Okay, whew, whew. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm special, everybody. I'm, I'm special. Why am I putting this on? Let's see, put these on. Okay, I am, yeah. You guys are probably sitting there just like laughing at me like, whoa, it's, come on, it's right there. It's right there, Jang. What are you, what are you looking at? Come on. It's welcome, welcome to me. I'm uh, a special kind of person. You know, I actually really like the way this looks now too. It just, it looks more finished and like complete. Now, if I could just get this on there, there we go. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be harder to get to with this wrench, however. And a little bit. So we got the screws in there far enough that we should be good. Hold this so it doesn't shift at all while we're wrenching this in. Yeah, really, I need like a, a thinner wrench or something. Like I know it's probably not a super common or smart thing, but does not I mean I guess it doesn't need to be super tight because it's it's not like bearing any of the spring load or anything like that it's, it's just you know it's just holding this foam piece in but it just doesn't 
Who doesn't want a Titan? What is going on? I don't, all right, we're gonna, you know, I'll fix that later. We're gonna leave that because we are, I think, I think we're there. I think you know, I'll probably go back and retighten a few things here and there, but I think we did it. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I wanted, but uh, yeah, we are we are good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this O-ring on a bit later, but I think we'll we'll call it there. We have hopefully, hopefully now an operational Caliburn that will serve us well in the next game. Uh, I'm gonna go crony this and test a few things, make sure it's sitting pretty, and uh, hopefully the next time you see this will be in the review that I have been spending quite a while testing, recording, and working on. I'm excited to bring that to you, and uh, hopefully that'll be the next time you see this blaster. So, uh, if you made it all the way to the end, enjoyed this video, and you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. I love doing these, love hanging out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, thought about the platform, thought about uh, anything you want, really. I appreciate it. I love talking with all of you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.